find I remember a story of Frederick Skinner. He was one of the greatest psychologists the world has ever had. On his deathbed, his, his mouth got dry and he requested for a glass of water. And then the caregiver gave him a cup of water. And then gratefully, he drank the water, he sipped a little bit, and then said, marvelous, and then gave up. Friends, we'll be wondering what is about, what is it all about, this feast that we celebrate today and the situation we are facing. Just live in the moment, the present. Frederick was able to appreciate one more time a little blessing in the moment. He was going to die. He wasn't sure. But he was so grateful that he had the opportunity to live in the moment and appreciate the blessing of God, even in the little way which is water. We celebrate the Annunciation of our late our Lord today, and we saw Mary that she can teach us what it means in the time of crisis like this to live in the moment. The angel Gabriel came and reported what he was asked to report. And she was worried. She asked questions. I don't know the, the man. I don't know how this will happen. I have doubts yet. She said, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Be it unto me according to your word. Friends, today is a time to look back and say the same thing. In this time of uncertainty, Instead of looking and getting worried and stressed out, how will this happen? How will this be taken care of? To live in the moment and be present to ourselves, be present to God, be present to those that we love. Just live in the moment, in the moment of surrendering to God to take care, in the moment to know that the God whom we call Father is able to take us through this. Some of us have asked very legitimate questions. What happens to my bills? What happens to these people? What happens to you know, going out? What happens to all that? Those are legitimate concerns. But we are in a time we have no control what tomorrow holds as regards to the coronavirus. Mary did not have control how she was going to get pregnant without getting to know a man. But she knew that the only thing she could have done, she could do, was to submit and live in the moment, the moment with God, and to be present to God, and allow God to be present to us. So we pray. This is a challenging time for all of us. So it's okay to get worried, but do not let our worries take away the time to enjoy the simplest moments, the present moments, the time that is precious that God makes available. Just be present to ourselves. Be present to people that we love. Be present to God and be present in the world. How do you do that to be present to the world? This is the time we pull our resources of faith together and storm heaven and pray and say, God, Look at us with your mercy and heal our land. That is the way we can be present. It's not a time to say who has done it wrong or whose policies is not helping. It's a time to say, God, we know you got this. Please show us mercy and let how God will see. At the end of the day, we have a story to tell because she said yes. She allowed herself to live in the moment and to allow God to be present to her by being present to God. So we pray, asking her intercession as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. God bless you, friends.